What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and there literally is not a more dead season for the NFL than May 16th, 2019. Like, there's just, I, I have prided myself on coming up with every single type of Jags video that there could possibly ever be on any given day, and today I just could not think of anything. I could not think of a single Jaguar video topic, and, you know, I still want to post my six days a week because that's what I advertise and that's what I want to do. So I've had to think kind of outside the box. So basically, what we're going to be doing today is there's no Jaguar football to talk about, but there are other sports to talk about. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about other sports here, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking N- NBA, NCAA football, NCAA basketball. I'm going to try and get you guys to know, you know, who else I root for, who else I am a fan of, um, and you know, maybe we'll even go a little bit deeper. We'll go like UFC, WWE, maybe even if uh, we have some time. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be discussing some of Treeb's favorite sports teams on here, and maybe some fiery takes sprinkled in there as well. So, you can kick back, relax. It's going to be kind of a podcast formatted video. And also, um, when this video goes up, every single comment I will respond to. Let's talk sports in the comment section. Let us have a fair discussion. Like I said, I'll respond to every comment that is in the comment section down below. But without further ado, this is let's get to get let's get to know Treeb's favorite sports teams a little better. So I said I was gonna make this kind of like a podcast format, so that is what I have decided to do. You're going to just listen to me talk. You're not going to see my ugly face, which I know for some of you, that just brings you down completely. You don't even want to watch the video anymore because you don't get to see my beautiful, ugly, terrible face. But I know, I know, I understand you guys are going to have to deal with it. This is a Treep Talks podcast, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about every type of sport other than the NFL, because that's all we talk about week in, week out, day in, day out. We talk Jaguar football. Let us dive in and talk about more sports that your boy is into. So basically, let's start off with probably my second favorite sports team, the second team I stand the hardest for, and that is an NCAA basketball Syracuse. I've been a Syracuse fan since I was probably a Jags fan. I mean, I've I've just ever since I was, you know, to the age where I was watching sports and I was watching the uh, tournament, the NCAA tournament, I was a big Syracuse fan. I think it was just because they were a constant mainstay when I was that age. And I was just thinking, oh, God damn, I just, I love Syracuse. They're always usually in the Elite Eight or the Sweet 16 or something, you know, that's where they always were. And I kind of clinged on to them. I also really just love the color orange. Blue and orange are my two favorite colors. If you were ever wondering what Troop's favorite colors were, now you know. But, you know, I love Syracuse's colors, you know, the orange. And I love the way they play, you know, now that I'm older and I understand the way that they play. That 3-2 zone is definitely going downhill, though, and Baylor exposed that this year. This was probably, honestly, one of the one of the worst Syracuse teams in a really, really long time. I was not impressed with what they had on the court. That was the first time we had a first round exit in a long time. I mean, since I could probably remember, uh, that was the worst uh, Syracuse team I've seen play, at least uh, in my days of watching Syracuse basketball. But that's probably the second team I stand the hardest for. And another reason why I love Syracuse is because of my favorite basketball player. And don't make fun of me, because I know some of you will most definitely be making fun of me, but I am a huge Carmelo Anthony fan. Carmelo Anthony has been my guy, my favorite basketball player ever since I started watching the NBA. I don't know what it was about him, but I clinged on to him. I followed him wherever he went. When you know, when he was with Denver, I was a Nuggets fan. When he went to New York, I was a Knicks fan. Once he kind of hit like the thunder, I was kind of over it. I was just like, you know, this guy's not going to be a, you know, force for any team anytime soon. And unfortunately, you know, you see guys like Dwayne Wade and uh, Dirk Nowitzki get these big send-off seasons, but you're not going to be seeing that with Carmelo Anthony, which kind of just breaks 
breaks my heart, guys. It just breaks me. I just think every time I'm like, man, Dwayne Wade, if you're a big Dwayne Wade fan, this probably feels so good to you. You're probably like, oh my god, you know, I have tears of joy right now watching my favorite NBA players last season. And we're not going to see that with Carmelo Anthony, which is a shame. You know, he kind of made, he made an appearance during uh, Dwayne Wade's uh, last season, of course. You know, he was on the bench And he rebounded the ball from the stands. And he was going to take the shot. And, of course, he didn't end up taking the shot. That would have been such a Carmelo Anthony move, though. If he would have just just pulled up, took the shot. It would also have been a Carmelo Anthony move if he just straight bricked it. But, you know, all all love goes to Carmelo Anthony. I'm a big Carmelo Anthony fan. And I'm, I'm a pretty big LeBron James fan, too. You know, you can't disrespect LeBron James. I mean... From a 20-year-old kid, right? So if you're if you're watching this and you're a little older, you know, you're in your 30s or your 40s, you remember watching Michael Jordan play and how great Michael Jordan was. See, I didn't grow up in that era, but I grew up in the era of LeBron James, and LeBron James is just as great as Michael Jordan. I don't <laughs> I don't even care. LeBron James is just as good as Michael Jordan. You can abuse me in the comment section down there if you want, but I honestly think he's better than Michael Jordan. I I really do. I've had arguments with people older than me. You know, most of my coworkers at my job are older than me, and they're all you know for the Michael Jordan hype train, obviously, because that that was the greatest player they've ever seen play. LeBron James is pound for pound, no, without a doubt, the best basketball player. I've ever seen play and it's just cool watching him because you know once you're watching him here you know you're in the midst of greatness like this is if if you don't think he's the best player to ever do it he's definitely in your top three you know he's definitely in your top three and you know guys like Kobe Bryant too I watched a lot of Kobe Bryant growing up you know the Lakers and the Celtics man when I was in elementary school going into junior high that was the rivalry the Lakers and the Celtics Kevin Garnett anything is possible I'll remember that forever my dad's a big Boston sports fan he, you know he likes the Red Sox and the Celtics the Patriots obviously uh big Boston fan and you know he followed that whole Celtics team that 2008 Celtics team and I just remember that freaking Kevin Garnett man anything is possible my dad was just the hypest I've ever seen him be actually that's a lie I've, my dad's definitely pound for pound definitely more of a uh, New England Patriots fan than a Boston Celtics fan that's for sure and uh, you know I would even I, I would say the Red Sox are probably his least favorite Boston team you know he doesn't really sit down and watch baseball and that's kind of my problem too is that I like baseball I truly do like once you sit down and watch baseball you truly grasp like the art behind it and everything that's that goes with the game of baseball like I never understood why people love baseball so much it just was never my thing it was it was always kind of just something that I pushed aside like I'll watch I literally will sit and watch the whole first day of March Madness on my couch and not even get up I love watching college basketball Saturdays I can get up in the morning watch some college football games all the way until five o'clock you know Sundays with football I can do that and just with baseball man I could not watch multiple baseball games in a day I just I couldn't do it and even though now I'm kind of gaining more of a respect for baseball I still couldn't do it um you know I'm still trying I always kind of claim the Red Sox because that was my dad's favorite team but you know I never really watched enough baseball to kind of sit down and determine who I like and uh one team that I've liked and I've been trying to follow a little bit this year, but it's been kind of disappointing. And I've been like, you know, Treve, you probably should pick a winning team in some sport. So maybe baseball is the way to go. So if you pick a team that doesn't do too hot, you know, maybe probably hop off midway through the season. And maybe just kind of pick your team during the playoffs. So, you know, you're going to be rooting for a playoff team. But I ain't no front-running bitch, so I'm probably going to end up rolling with this squad that I root for in baseball, you know, f- f- forever now because I've, I've watched a lot of their games and honestly it makes me angry and I'm not even like a diehard yet like I just watch them and I'm like really like what the fuck you know they can never get their bats going they just brought up one of the hottest you know guys in the minor leagues and Vladimir Guerrero I'm talking about the Toronto Blue Jays ladies and gentlemen that's probably weird to you Treb you like teams from all over the map that's a fact That's because, you know, if you are from an area or at least semi-close to an area that has a professional sports team, 
I'm sure you cling to that team because that's what's closest to you. But me growing up in Idaho, there's no pro teams anywhere. I mean, you can go six hours and you can watch the Seattle Seahawks or the Seattle Mariners, but like those aren't local enough to me at least to really cling on to them plus growing up everybody was a Seahawks fan and everybody was a Mariners fan so it just it wasn't fun to do you know I wanted to be different I wanted to be separated from the pack and I think that's still how I am especially with picking a team like the Toronto Blue Jays Your boy's been talking for this long straight, and you expected me not to hit my vape midway through the video. You guys obviously don't know me, and that is a gosh dang shame. Anyway, going back to baseball, uh, I like the Blue Jays. Um, I I don't know necessarily why I picked them, except for the fact that they are from Canada, obviously, and I love Canada, man. And anything to do with Canada. I love it. I love Canada. Can't even tell you how much I love Canada. Why do I love Canada? I've never been to Canada, so maybe I, maybe if I go to Canada, it might change my opinion, but just everything about Canada is badass to me. Like, the TV shows, Trailer Park Boys, Letterkenny, you know, two of my favorite shows. I'm a fucking boy, I know. <laughs> like, those are my two favorite shows, probably Canadian-based TV shows. One of my favorite comedians is Tom Green, obviously a comedian uh, from Canada. And, you know, my my favorite skit in South Park is when they just, oh, God, what did I, uh, it's going to kill me. I can't even think. Uh, it's the show they watch where they fart a lot. Oh, uh, I can't even, I can't even think about what the show is. Philip, Phil, something in Philip, but when there's like, I'm not your buddy guy, and I'm not your guy, buddy, you know, like that, that's so funny to me like I just I love Canada so you know I was just like might as well roll with the Toronto Blue Jays so that's what I did and I'm rolling with them and hopefully it ends up panning out I don't know maybe it will maybe it won't but those are you know my favorite teams oh we're gonna get to yeah we gotta dive into some uh, NCAA football for a little bit for sure I have two favorite teams in there and they're those are the only two local teams I really like and uh, local teams in college sports, I don't mind rooting for. Um, you know, Idaho is the college, you know, the University of Idaho is just 30 minutes from where I'm from. So, you know, I support them. They're usually not good at anything, but, you know, I will sit down and be like, oh, they're so, you know, they have potential. Because, I, you know, I write, I write about, like, these teams, you know, for the you know, the paper I work for and the radio station, you know, I, I, like, I basically cover these guys and, you know, I, I always think that they're going to be more than what they are. And obviously these other two teams that I'm really a diehard fan of, I, I don't really cover them because, you know, I think my bias would show a little bit too much, but I love Washington state. I love the Cougars, dude. Every year, well, I think I really started liking Washington State when Mike Leach took over, and that's kind of when they peaked, when they started getting good again, is when Mike Leach took over, because they always had really solid cornerbacks, like Connor Holiday was good, Luke Folk was good, and then Gardner Minshew as well. That's why I was so hyped for Gardner Minshew to get drafted by the Jags, and that's why I'm hyped that everybody that's you know rooting for the Jags is kind of rooting for Gardner Minshew because he's a good dude and he was he was that dude for Washington State for a long long time so I mean not even for a long long time he was he was the dude for a year but he was that dude you know he was gonna take Washington State to maybe the Rose Bowl you know we were getting we were getting a little excited there but then Washington of course put the dagger in us and we couldn't go but uh, another team I really rooted for and I really liked was Boise State Boise State, where everybody down here hates Boise State. So, you know, it was hard to kind of root for them, but it wasn't because they had such an electrifying offense when I was in elementary school to junior high. Kellen Moore, favorite college football player of all time. Kellen Moore. And that was just, oh, it was such a good team, man. They went, We had Titus Young, Austin Pettis, Jay Ajayi, Doug Martin, like... We were stacked from top to bottom, and it was just so fun to watch. And just, I remember that Nevada game when Colin Kaepernick beat Boise State, and I, whew, that was a, that was a rough time for me. I think that was the first time I cried during a sporting event. I think that was. Uh, the second time I probably cried during a sporting event, 
at least real <laughs> tears of real sadness was the AFC Championship game. Your boy did shed a couple of tears after that. I won't lie, but that was that was hard on me. I was young. I was in like the sixth grade, and I just remember my dad saying, "You know, now they're not going to go to the championship. There's no way." And I was like, "That's not fair. You know, they dominated. Now we got to go play in the Mako Las Vegas Bowl. Like, who cares about that?" And you know, that's what kind of sucks about liking these smaller schools you know they're never gonna really make it into the big time but you know that's also kind of why you gotta cheer for them because maybe one day they will make it to the promised land anyway ladies and gentlemen that was a little podcast about me talking about my favorite sports teams what did you guys think leave your comments down below don't forget i will respond to every single comment and if you haven't checked the links down below already you can go ahead and do that you can like me on facebook at troop talks follow me on twitter at troop talks or follow me on instagram at trey von pixley also if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button click the bell icon so you get notified every single time i drop a new video i drop new content on this channel six days a week ain't nobody outworking me them's just straight facts thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always you guys have a great day